Alberto, how's it going there today? What's going on, brother? How are you? All good. good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Am I getting you from Texas today? Yeah, yeah, I'm in San Antonio, Texas. I just got back from Miami. I was doing media in Miami for two days, and I got back uh, last night. I'm going to stay here today with my children. Of course, I got uh, other stuff to do, <laughs> but uh, but uh, but I'm going to spend the day with my children and then um, go down to my calendar tomorrow. And do you do all of your training out of San Antonio? No, 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 no. I did. Uh, I started in... Uh, I started in San Antonio, the first part. The second part, last part, I went to Arizona to, to train with the big boys because, you know, we have fan, a fantastic talent here in San Antonio, great fighters, but, uh, but, uh, but I needed to train with heavyweights, and, uh, and that's why I, I went to Arizona. And I did the last uh, 10 weeks of my training camp in Arizona. Right. Now, not everybody realizes that before you found success as a world champion in wrestling, you were actually a competitive amateur wrestler that was competing for the Olympics, or at least trying to qualify for the Olympics, and you had done MMA. Was your goal from the beginning to be an MMA competitor before you got into wrestling? No, 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 no. I'm a third generation pro wrestler. Uh, pro wrestling is the family business. My grandfather started the tradition in the family, followed by my dad, my uncles, cousins. And, uh, and when I was little, I, 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 thought, I thought I needed to be a, 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 a great amateur wrestler in order to, to become a pro wrestler. And that's why I started at, at, a, at an early age uh, with uh, amateur wrestling. Then from amateur, I became a professional wrestler, and uh, and then I I went to Japan to do MMA for six years, competed in Japan because it, that's another thing. A lot of people think that I'm just uh, jumping from pro wrestling to MMA from one day to the other, and uh, but, but but that's not that's not the case. I I did five six years in Japan, competed in. Uh, in the most prestigious organizations in Japan at the time, pride, deep pride. When the UFC was not what it is today, the number one company was pride. And, and that's when I was in Japan fighting for that organization. Then that's where, that's where WWE found me and the rest is history. Has your style of fighting in MMA changed over the years? Because of course you started as a successful amateur wrestler, but is most of your training these days revolving around amateur wrestling? Well, that's my main wrestling, Greco Roman wrestling. That's my main. But uh, these days, it's um, it's completely different. The business, the MMA business, has evolved, has changed in a in a in a uh, total different way than when than when I was fighting in Japan uh, 10, 12, 14 years ago. Back then, it, it was still more like a collision of styles, the boxer against the judo practitioner, the judo guy against the wrestler. And, uh, but these days, uh, all the fighters are well, well-rounded. They're all good strikers, wrestlers, grapplers. And, uh, and, um, and that's why we were working pretty much on every single aspect of the fighting game. We were doing three days of grappling, three days of striking, three days of, of, uh, of uh, wrestling. And then we were doing sparring uh, uh, twice a week. Um, I had a great training. Uh, I, had, I had a great training camp starting in San Antonio and then uh, wrapping it up in, in Arizona. Now, being a high-profile person for the last 15 years or so around the world, you obviously always have to stay in great shape because you're on television and you're making media appearances and all that. But when you're training for MMA, is your diet that much different? Like, do you really have to change your lifestyle that much for MMA instead of just being on television for wrestling? Completely, completely. Uh, uh, that's, that's the way it was and that's the way it is. I have always been in shape, but there's a big difference between being in shape for the mirror and being in shape for a fight. Fighting shape is totally different than just looking good in the mirror. And, uh, and that's, that's why I had to completely change absolutely everything. Like, like my diet, uh, to start uh, with the fact that when I started with the training camp here in San Antonio, I was, uh, my weight was 248, 248 pounds. And now I think, I think because I haven't, I haven't been on the scale in these past two days because I was doing media in Miami, but uh, I, w I was 220, 222, 225. I hope I'm still uh, around that number. <laughs> 
because I don't want to suffer this this week. Um, um, uh, um, marking 210 on the scale on, on Friday afternoon. Uh, so I changed my diet. I changed the way I train. Uh, I was training three times a day here in San Antonio, then the uh, same in, in, in uh, Arizona. Then we went down to two. And this week is just, you know, it's different. We just maintain what we did in the, in the, in the past weeks and, and work and focus and uh, making weight for Friday. Now, obviously, it goes without saying you dominated the wrestling world. Being a world champion for a major company, people are looking at you from around the world, and millions of people are watching you every week on television. And your MMA fights have also been very high profile. But are there other forms of entertainment or sports that you still want to conquer? Like, for example, might we see you acting in the future? I already did that in Mexico. That's something that I really want to do. I did, you know... uh... Uh, small things here and there in Mexico, and uh, but I would love to do to do the same here in, in the states or anywhere else. Um, right now, I'm completely focused on what I'm going to be doing this Saturday, and uh, and after the fight, I'm, I have a um, I have an appearance in Pakistan, and then next year I will start you know doing many things. Of course, continue my my work, my uh, my mission with Combate Americas, um, and. Uh, and my other projects. Well, when most people leave WWE, it's to go on a reduced schedule, but it sounds like you're traveling as much and working as much as you ever did with WWE. Uh, not as much, because I was one of the, the ones in, uh, in that company uh, doing pretty much everything, all the appearances. So there was a year when I did 285 appearances, and, uh, and uh, that's, uh, I'm not doing that these days at all. Uh, I mean, we... We're lucky to have a lot of shows, and we're gonna. Uh, it looks like we're gonna double the shows for next year, but um, but I don't I don't go near 100 appearances per year, uh, uh, being on my own. Uh, that's the way it is in the pro wrestling world. It's completely different than than what it is in uh, in Combat Americas, and, and and the most important part here in Combat Americas, I'm uh, I'm happy. I love what I do. Um, I remember my boss and friend coming my client saying that when you love what you do, you don't really work a day of your life, a day in your life. Uh, and that's, that's the way I feel in Combat Americas. I don't feel that it's work, but I don't feel it that way because I have so much fun every time I'm doing that, every time we're doing those events, that it doesn't feel like. What do you wish more people knew about you? Because when I think about you, for example... All the things I mentioned, I think of this tough guy who's traveled the world many times, who's a decorated champion, who's acted, who's an entertainer. But is there something that you wish more people knew about you in general? Uh, well, you know, I, um, I'm a hardworking man, and, uh, and, um, and I think, I, I mean, I, 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 I had I, I uh, many people saying this about me. And uh, my children, they all say that I'm a great dad, and I like to think that I am a great dad. I everything I, I know, we we all parents say the same, but I I always give the the extra mile or a thousand miles more to do to do the, what I'm supposed to do with my children and raise them in a, in the right way. Um, I've been um, doing campaigns. I've been selected to do campaigns uh, like the fatherhood campaign here in the states and and how to be how to be a, a, a father role model in my country, in Mexico. And um, that's, that, that one right there is for me is the best job in the world. Great. So in closing, any last words for the kids? Yes, I just want to say thank you for, for their support to everyone, to, to the supporters, the haters, the, 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 to everyone out there because um, they, they, they keep the name of Alberto El Rio relevant regardless if they love you or hate you. They're always... They're always there for your stuff, and um, and but especially to my supporters. Thank you for for sticking up with me for so many years, and thank you for for making Alberto El Rio a household name and 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 somebody in the fighting world. Thank you for your time, and looking forward to seeing you in New York soon. Best of luck with this fight. Thank you. Thank you.